here. Welcome to my room. This week was a little rough. Uh, David Bowie and Alan Rickman died. But this week also uh, Shadowhunter premiered worldwide. Uh, Tuesday it premiered on Freeform. Uh, but you know, as you know, I don't live in America, in the US actually. So I couldn't watch it. And I watched it on Wednesday on Netflix, which was amazing. I watched it already like four to five times and I really like it. But, as much as I like it, there are several things that I am not quite convinced. That's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be telling you what I liked and what I didn't about the first episode of Shadowhunters. So, I actually really loved it, like as a whole. I think it's a very original <laughs> adaptation. Um, it's not like a hard copy of the books, which is great. I don't like it when this is the exact same thing as in the books, because if I wanted to see what's in the books, I would read the books again. I really like um, the director's vision for this. There are several things that I find kind of weird, but first I want to give a huge shout out to the whole cast, because the acting was amazing. You guys don't understand just how talented this cast actually is until you see them acting and being their characters. And um, I feel like Dominic Sherwood has Jake Jace so mastered and I'm so surprised with that. I feel so glad that, I, that he's doing such an amazing job and yeah, I'm loving every single part of it. He He's doing such an amazing job as Jace. It feels so natural and organic and he's doing all of these little details that uh, make Jace Jace. So yeah, I am so ashamed that I actually had doubts in the first place. And um, yeah, I'm loving his eyes. I really love his eyes. The Lightwoods also did not disappoint at all. Like, not even a tiny little bit. I love every single minute that um, Emma Tuvia and Matthew Daddario blessed my screen they are doing such an amazing job I mean Emma is Isabel and I know I've said this many times but now that I've seen her like in real life action I mean I have no single doubt and you know I love Matthew but I mean as Alec he's doing such a great job but there were some things that I actually thought that were a little bit odd or off. One of them was the special effects. I was hoping for a little bit more. I mean, I knew that they were like the best special effects in the world from the previews that we saw, but I was not expecting <laughs> it to look so fake. Also, I feel like Jocelyn's acting, Maxime is such a great actress, but at some point, uh, she looks a little bit too forced. Something that I really thought, <laughs> like, creeped me out, like, freaked me out a lot, was that Valentine is just, I don't know what the hell is he doing there, and I think that is, like, the weirdest detail in the show. Like, why? From what I saw in the first episode, I know, I, for sure, that Eventually, I don't know if in the season or in the future seasons, they're going they're going to drift away from the stories of the book completely. And I am not bothered about that. I mean, I would still watch it because as a show, it has potential. But um, it's going to be bad for some uh, die-hard fan, fans of the book uh, because I think that they are not going to be very forgivable about that. And what else? What else did I like? I mean, I love the little changes that they did uh, from the story of the book to the show. I mean, I loved it because, I mean, I know the story. I know what is going to happen and I know where these guys are going to be headed to and stuff. But I still want to enjoy the, um, the show and I still want to see, like, cliffhangers for us book readers. And I love that there are a lot of them. I'm so in love with Alberto Rosende. I mean, I cannot tell you how much I enjoyed his acting as I but I mean, he's hilarious. Everything that made me laugh in this show was 
because of Alberto and I really love that. This show has everything. It's action packed, it's sexy, it's funny and um, it's something that us teenagers, <laughs> I'm not going to be a teenager anymore, I think that it's something that teenagers can enjoy a lot because they can relate to all of these characters that even though they are like fantastic and they are half angels or vampires or werewolves, everyone can relate to these characters and um, so yeah I think that's amazing but I also feel like adults and grown up audiences can enjoy this show as well. I mean it, this show has everything and I cannot tell you how much I hope it does well. And I hope they polish off all of these little details that are, are a little off from the in production. That's pretty much it about the video. Right now I have a huge announcement. I am going to be telling you guys that this channel is going to be changing a lot. Um, as you know, I am not a native English speaker. My mother language is Spanish. So, without that in mind, I am going to be um, transforming this channel into a 50-50 thing. So, one week you're going to be seeing a video in English. So, this is the video in English of this week, right? But next week, next week's video is going to be in Spanish. And the week after that, the video is going to be in English, and, and so and so, <laughs> right? You understand that. And yeah, I am very excited about that because I know that there's a lot, a lot of people that watches my videos that are Spanish speakers, but I also know that there are a lot of people in this channel that um, also speak English. So I don't want to disappoint either of them. If I could speak in any other language, I, could, I would, but I can't, so... <laughs> English and Spanish it is. That's pretty much it. I'm, I'm so sorry about the lighting because I am filming with na natural lighting for the first time ever. So I hope it's not horrible. <laughs> so yeah guys, that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please remember to give it a huge thumbs up. Also, if it's your first time in this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there because I upload videos every single Friday. Also, don't forget to leave a comment below telling me if you like Shadow Hunters and what was your favorite part of the of the show, let's have a little talk about that. Also don't forget to follow me on my social media which is also going to be down there. And yeah, that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Estoy grabando! Estoy grabando! Bueno, guarda silencio.